So this video is more a comparison between two normie groups who criticize Donald Trump. Not like my own group, since I'm more of a jilted lover. So among these critics of Donald Trump since, at the very least, 2015, we have the whites and the people of color. Now, with the people of color, it's very simple why they criticize Donald Trump. It's because he either has criticized a minority group that they're a part of, or they've fallen for the intersectionality meme, and he's criticized an ally group. So that's one reason why those oppose Donald Trump. It's a very simple reason. Very thetish. On the other end of the spectrum, a little more complicated is the white group because there's a sort of classism and a caste criticism for Donald Trump and his support base and even his family. I see a lot of whites criticizing Donald Trump because his wife was a sex worker in the 1990s. I believe it was the 90s. Or because during the hurricane relief, events that they were participating in, she was wearing heels instead of running sneakers, or even something as ridiculous as them eating steak well done with ketchup. And this just comes across to me trivializing their arguments, but there does seem to be a classism in their criticism, which is oftentimes self-diagnosed. A lot of these people are they look like meth heads. Some people I've seen who criticize the Trump support base and Trump himself for being low class. And that's kind of funny. I ain't gonna find it. But it's a big reason why you see stuff like I remember that old bitch during the Oscars who was criticizing Donald Trump. She had this speech about him, and then there was J.K. Rowling, another old bitch who was... It was a Harry Potter lady, and she says a lot of stuff about Donald Trump. Who else? A lot of people involved with the development of those... That rebooted Star Wars series, with the sequel trilogy and the spin-offs. Even a lot of them are Jews. They have a similar level of criticism for Donald Trump, which is, oh, he's fascist, or his supporter base is full of, like, impressionable broke boys. And it can often, you can often see it in the Young Turks as well, although I don't follow them that much. I'm just going off of hearsay and some clips of them during the end of the election season. And this is where I really want to get to some heavier duty stuff, which is it doesn't surprise me that the most popular white guy that POC flock to for Trump criticisms is the guy who has their rhetoric down packed, Talcum X, also known as Sean King. He may be a white guy pretending not to be a white guy, but he has successfully used the rhetoric they like is relevant to them to criticize Trump. And anyone like him, anyone slightly shit worthy and in power. And then we have people like Trevor Noah on the other end of the spectrum. Trevor Noah is a mulatto, but he has filled in for the camouflage Jew of Jon Stewart for The Daily Show. I don't know why I said The Daily Show, I guess. Is because The Daily Show is more relevant to me than The Daily Show. That's all. And his criticisms are a lot closer to slightly more nuanced, but urbanite white criticisms you would see of Donald Trump. And I find that pretty, pretty interesting because it covers the whole spectrum for me. Because they are in two different spectral charts. And I'm surprised that we've seen these two conflicting rhetorics never really biting into each other. 
And if they ever did at any point, that would just make Trump's possible second term that much more viable in the future. Because then that would be a divided support base against Trump. Anyway, that's all I got to say on the matter. It's been your boy, Mr. Walker 7. I am tired as a motherfucker. And suck my dick. <laughs>